and by the way, Gabe, I talked to him, I interviewed him the day before the fight. He was very nasally. He didn't yeah. even, he didn't bring nothing up about being sick, but I asked him, are you sick? And, and I think he was. Mm -hmm. And uh, and he sneezed and said, nope. But apparently Gabe <laughs> didn't want to bring that up. I'm bringing it up, for, yeah. you know, but he didn't want to bring that up after the fight. So kudos to him for that yeah. because guys bring up excuses when in reality the they didn't even exist. Yeah. He actually did have a cold, I think. He, mm -hmm. he was sick. But also, you know, in the fight, Beyond that, though, he, he had this big left hook knockout of Velez last time. And right from the opening bell, he's winging hooks. And he's not a puncher. Even yeah. when you get a big knockout, when you're a boxer, you can't go crazy with mm -hmm. the home run swings. Mm -hmm. And he's and he's the cards pointing at you right now, but he, you know, he, on Ozzy he, he, Not he, similar circumstance. He, he starts with the hook right away, and you know, Stop cracking your knuckles. <laughs> correct me if I'm wrong, but you should start with the jab first, yeah. and then find the hook more time. I mean, never, you, you never you know. Are you telling yeah, him how to yeah, fight? Yeah, yeah. No, no. Nah, he, he I'm confirming sure he's right, but he right, knows right. 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 Yeah, yeah. So he does that, and. Before, early on, now you're in a fight with this Mexican warrior. Yeah. When you when you have fast hands and you're the box box this guy, and and it, it it looks like to me when you try to switch it up halfway halfway through and start boxing when you're already in a fight you can't. Mm -hmm. You you're in a fight now, mm -hmm. and so it, it it's got to go the other way around. You start boxing and then you start you, fighting. You but mentioned that. I don't but, I don't care remember what fight it was, but you said when somebody has the momentum going forward, it's tough to flip the momentum of literally fighting more kind of coming back. I can't think what, what fight it was say? because I can't think who it was, but we were saying like, yeah, if you they mean just like keep, physically somebody. Yeah. Ever? Cause somebody, if, if somebody's coming out aggressive, uh -huh. it's tough to like Zytel said, flip it. And then all of a sudden say, okay, I can box until I, that. So that guy being aggressive, it's, it's hard for him to flip it. And yeah, then yeah, start yeah. to kind of, I can't think, I can't hmm. think of the life of me think of what fight it was, but we talked about it on here, I think. And it was something we were just saying, you're naturally your momentum's going forward, so you're used to that. Yeah, and it's tough to flip that and then start to kind of go backwards. I don't yeah, know fight it was. I don't remember either. It but, sounds so familiar, yeah. but maybe it was <clears> stupid <throat> at the time, and we just for said forget it forever. <laughs> and again, like I don't want to step on anyone's dreams. Yeah, I don't want to. I don't want to. This is one loss. I don't. I don't. Well, no, I'm not even speaking direct. Well, kind of directly to him, but I mean, the, in in the grand scheme of things. Um, Devin Haney turned really, he turned pro really young. I, yeah. He might have been 17. 16, 16, 15, 16. maybe even 15. No, but I think yeah, 16. He, yeah, 16. he was 16, 16 when yeah. he turned pro. And for the outsiders, he's like, what? This kid's 16 and he's doing that? Yeah, but imagine when he's 21, he's already five years in. Yeah. You know what I mean? And not, not to say that he's taking five years of punishment, but where I am... 22 when I turned pro, 21, almost 22 when I turned pro, I'm very much so um, in my manhood, I think uh, maybe mature maturity and, 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 and mentally not, not so much, but physically in my manhood, a 16 year old kid is not. So as this 16 year old, 16 year old kid approaches manhood, 21, you're still not a man. This kid turned pro really early. And he is definitely not have his man strength yet. You, you, yeah. your, your brain capacity at a young age, you can't, you don't, you're not developed enough to understand things and get the kind of experience that you need so that when something like that happens and you're being aggressive and you coming out with the hook immediately, you got all these other tools, you don't understand that so early in the game. And so, just saying that to say where, where you look at it and you may think that a kid turning pro at early at 16 or 18 may be good. I'm not saying that you should wait until 21. I'm not saying that everybody should wait till they're 23 yeah. to turn pro. But it's in a fighter's best interest to turn pro when they're closer to being a man and they're closer to uh, being able to um, intake information, uh, grow, improve. Uh, and all of that, and then take all of that to the ring and translate it in the ring. It's very hard to do when you're 21. It's hard to do, you know, it's, it's hard to do when you're 25. Yeah. You know what I mean? So give yourself the grace that you need. Give yourself the time to develop. And a lot of us, man, we're, we're so successful early that we think we're ready. And um, as long as you take the right, right steps, you, once the time is right, you are ready. I mean, you speak to Ennis. Yeah. That dude is is amazing to me. I he's I don't see very many athletes in boxing, and so when I see an athlete, I get really geeked out. Yeah, yeah. Because I'm a, like I'm an athlete. 
So when I see other athletes, I get really geeked up. And even though he is 100% athlete, even though I've said he's going to be a champion, all that kind of stuff, and then I say, well, yeah, he should still take his time and he should still you know, pick the right fights at the right moments and stuff like that, is because I don't want something like this to happen. I don't want him to get in the ring thinking that he's in full control and then something happens that he hasn't experienced yet and he doesn't know how to go through it. You know, So that's the, the, that's the advantage of having uh, being older in the game is that you have experience and then even if you don't have a certain experience you have a, a level of maturity um mentally uh where you can be able to do the things you need to do to survive to make adjustments to follow the game plan and all that kind yeah. of stuff you know and everyone's paths can be different something that worked for yeah Devin Haney turning pro at 16 doesn't yeah. work for John Doe at Pro Turner yeah. Pro at 16. So, yeah. And I think Gabe yeah. could still definitely come back. It's one he's, loss. He's got yeah. fast hands. Early in his yeah. yeah. 21, early. one yeah. loss. It, you move past it. Whatever. What's up? I'm Showtime Sean Porter. I'm Ant. Follow me on IG. Ant with two T's. Let's do All it. Right, Let's everyone. do it again. Let's All right. Again. Just introduce yourself. Okay. And then tell them, and then you tell them what to do. I'm Showtime Sean Porter. I'm Anthony Brenno. Carson A. Merck. Like, subscribe, comment. This is the Porter Way.